NBC 10 breaking news. We are coming on the air to update the winter storm moving through our area this morning. Looking live right now, conditions in the Lehigh Valley, Pennsylvania suburbs, Delaware, and the Jersey Shore. Getting a bird's eye view of the winter storm in South Jersey. This is a view from Drone Force 10 over Autobahn, Camden County. This neighborhood looks uh, pretty with the snow-covered rooftops in the yards. Good morning again, everyone. I'm Keith Jones. We've issued a first alert for this storm, which is bringing several inches of snow to our region. How much snow you see will really depend on where you live. All that snow is a welcome sight for skiers in the Poconos. Live look from our uh, camera at Camelback Resort. You see they're already out there enjoying the natural stuff. Much different picture, though, along the coast. Live look from our Hard Rock Resort camera in Atlantic City. We promise it's there. You see the winds blowing uh, in Atlantic City down the Jersey Shore uh, won't see a lot of snow, but there's a, co a concern for coastal flooding. Let's get right on over to NBC 10 First Alert Meteorologist Bill Henley. Bill, you've been tracking this from, since last week. Yeah, and we saw it change over to snow in the mountains early this morning in the Lehigh Valley as well. We went on the air at 4 o'clock this mm -hmm. morning, and it was rain in the suburbs and across Philadelphia and Delaware and South Jersey. Well, how that has changed. The cold air has been dragged into the rest of the area with a storm system, which is making its way towards the shore. But look, this extends from D.C. through the Philadelphia area into New England, even some thunderstorm activity offshore. The heavy rain and precipitation, the heaviest stuff, has already moved offshore, but we've got snow falling from the Lehigh Valley through Philadelphia and now getting closer to Atlantic City. The radar is picking up snowflakes over the shore, Sea Isle City included, so you should see some mixing while it's still rain in Cape May. Colder air, atmosphere cooling down, that is snow for Philadelphia. It's been snowing for most of the morning now. Now since the sun came up, but it's really not sticking to the roads. Kind of a slushy mess. Different story in the Lehigh Valley. That's where we're seeing some higher totals. But there is the back edge of this one that's not going to waste any time moving out. So in the next 30 minutes, it comes to an end in Redding. And before noontime, it'll be done in Allentown. And by then, things will be quieting down in Philadelphia, too. You can see the winds blowing the flags on the Jefferson Building. That gusty wind will be blowing all day long. Allentown still getting some accumulating snow. And you can see a little bit of a dusting on Frawley Field. That's uh, Wilmington, kind of dreary outside. Raindrops on the lens. Snow is still falling. Well, it's just uh, rain at Cape May and light at that. Snowfall total so far for the Lehigh Valley. That's where we see some impressive totals. Brightingsville, nine inches. Bethlehem, almost up to the nine inch total mark, along with Weisenberg Township. Whitehall's got seven and a half, seven for Mertztown and Allentown, five inches and counting. These numbers will go up a bit, but the Pocono Mountains, as Keith mentioned, is really made out. Inches, uh, well, actually, we can't be able to measure it in feet. One foot so far at the highest elevations, and that's great news for skiers. Still cold in Allentown, 34 in Philadelphia. That's up. The temperatures have been climbing, even though we're still getting snow and lots of clouds. The sun is up, and that's going to push the temperatures into the 40s. 11 o'clock this morning, you see the tail end of that system pushing towards Philadelphia. By lunchtime, it'll be done. And that mix at the shore into Delaware, uh, southern Delaware, south Jersey, and that's going to be quickly tapering off as we go into the noontime hour. And then look at the sun pulling through the area, and that's going to allow the temperatures to I peak in the low 40s for Philadelphia, 42 degrees, low 40s from the Lehigh Valley to the Jersey Shore. That snow comes to an end. It'll be totally dry later today, but it gets cold tonight. If you don't shovel it tonight, what's on the ground will stay on the ground. It'll be frozen with temperatures below freezing. Then tomorrow afternoon, 38 degrees and a little bit milder, but not by much for Thursday and Friday. Highs will be in the 40s. Keith. Well, thanks. Roads across our area, they're covered with snow this morning. Taking a look at video from Marple Road. It's in Broomall, Delaware County. You'll definitely want to take it nice and slow, right? While crews are working to clear away all that snow. Doesn't look like anybody's gotten to that road just yet. Snow-covered roads are creating some trouble for drivers. Take a look at this car stuck. Oh, boy, this is in the snow in Haverford, Delaware County. You could see a plow truck had already stopped by to help that driver out, thank goodness. But... This is a good uh, example of why you want to take it slow out there. Parts of the Lehigh Valley, they're seeing the most snow from this storm. Crews were out this morning clearing out the sidewalks, plowing the roads, getting at it early, and they've got good experience doing just that. NBC 10, Deanna Durante making her way to the Lehigh Valley right now in a car. Deanna, good to see you. What are you guys seeing? 
We're seeing a lot of snow, Keith. Uh, you take a look here at the roads. You can see even though crews have been out here trying to clear things, it's just piling up or has been piling up pretty quickly. When we got on the Northeast Extension at Plymouth Meeting, it was pretty clear until you got halfway to about Lansdale, and then the roads went from wet to snow-packed. We did see a couple of cars that appeared to have spun off to the side of the road. We're checking out reports right now of a pretty bad accident scene. We're told a number of cars could be involved on 309 near the Souderton line. So once we get a little bit more information on that, we'll update you. City Councilman Frank Pintabone from Easton is out there plowing. He says about as far or as, as long as he's been out all morning, it's about five minutes after he clears a road before more of the snow piles up. So he's encouraging people in the Easton area to stay indoors. Of course, many uh, schools, businesses having you uh, learn and work from home. And when you take a look at the roads here, that's exactly why, because the snow is still coming down, coming down faster than they can clear it. So be safe and just keep it right here on NBC 10 for the rest of the day. Back to you, Keith. Deanna, be safe out there with Jim. Thanks so much. We're getting new video, meanwhile, of the winter storm from all over our area. Take a look at this snow falling this morning in Bryn Mawr, Montgomery County. You can see it was already sticking to the grass and to the trees and a live look from Springfield Township, Montco. This is a 309 North, so a bit of a different situation there, right? Looks like the roads have been treated already. Plows have been through there, obviously. Maybe they've uh, treated them just a bit. NBC 10's Rosemary Connors live for us in Norristown, though. We've been checking in on Norristown when it was just raining early this morning. And now, Rose, different situation out there. Oh, Keith, tell me about it. The snow's coming down at a pretty steady clip, and quite a few inches have accumulated on the ground. And I would say this is the kind of stuff that's pretty good for uh, building a sturdy uh, snowman of sorts. Take a look at the road behind me. This is Main Street. We're just getting close to the intersection of Trooper Road in Norristown. And cars are coming through, but going slowly at this point because it's a mess out there. It's just slushy. The crews are trying to clear it. Um, but similar to what Deanna said, it's just coming down so fast that they're really working to try to stay on top of it or keep up. All the facilities and offices, county offices here in Norristown, like the courthouse, Montgomery County offices and facilities, they are closed for the day. And as Deanna said, many schools across this area, they are closed and are doing virtual learning from home. Now, in terms of PennDOT, I have been speaking with them yesterday through the day and this morning today. They really started around 6 o'clock this morning because it was raining. And so to do any pre-treating like brine and putting salt out, they figured it would just be washed away. So, for example, here in Norristown District 6, their offices uh, and their facilities, their crews started about 6 o'clock this morning, and it's been all hands on deck. We're going to continue to stay here in Norristown, of course, bring you live pictures uh, throughout the morning. Reporting live in Norristown, Montgomery County, I'm Rosemary Connors, NBC 10 News. Yeah, the kiddos, including your son, are going to love this uh, snow, being able to pack a snowman. With this one this morning. All right, Rose. They're thank you off so much. today. <laughs> there you go. Bye. We talked a lot about the uh, the roads, the storm that's impacting commuters on the rails too. Video taken from along the Paley Thorndale line in Haverford. You can see the snow falling on the train tracks, as well as on the platform there. Let's check in with first alert traffic reporter Sheila Watko. Sheila, been an incredibly busy morning for you. Very, very busy, Keith. And you mentioned uh, the train station also for air travel mm -hmm. has been affected all morning. There's sure. been cancellations, whether or delays. The trains, the trains, the planes leaving here, the planes <laughs> arriving here. So double check if you are set to fly today or pick someone up from the airport. Those have been affected all morning. Let's look at uh, Route 1 right around Fox Street. I'm going to show you sort of the difference of closer to the city and a little further out into the suburbs. Route 1 at Fox Street looking not too bad. It looks like the roads are very wet, but not potentially icy or slushy. It's pretty clear of snow. All that snow is off to the side. The further out you get, you get a little bit slushier conditions out here. So cars are able to get by pretty easily on 422 right around Trooper Road, but you can see it looks a little wetter, just a little something else to be more careful of. 76 at City Avenue, you can get a shot of that camera where the snow's really still coming down out there, kind of like our Route 1 shot, a little clearer on all of those traffic lanes. And right now, there's not too many delays in the area. This morning, this map was fully red, and it looked like that all throughout the morning. Right now, not looking terrible, but definitely dealing with delays throughout the area. Once again, in Chester County, up in Bucks County, further out into the suburbs. And right now, Keith, worth mentioning, that pretty much all of our highways are reduced down to just 45 miles per hour mm -hmm, mm -hmm. throughout the region. So keep that in mind as you head out. That includes parts of Jersey as well. Keith, back to you. Sounds good, Sheila. Thank you. It's really best to stay off the roads on a day like this, but if you have to be out, AAA says to keep a good distance between you and the car in front of you. If you've got a slide, don't slam on the brakes. Ease off the gas, steer into the direction you want the front of the car to go. 
Count on NBC10 to bring you the latest on the path of this winter storm. Make sure you've got the free NBC10 app. Track the storm on our radar and to get instant updates and alerts for your neighborhood. I'm NBC10's Keith Jones. We now return you to the Today Show.